Hi, it's Michael De Silva's from New Hunter Church of Christ, and uh, I was hoping to go to Pole Green tonight to get the first week of the series of the Holy Spirit. Maybe somebody would be nice enough to videotape it for me and send me a copy of it uh, tonight. But I haven't heard anything from Christine. I called her, so I hope everything's all right with that. She might be working, though, because sometimes she does work, you know, later, you know, so, you know, that's understandable. But anyway, uh, just pray that I'll be able to teach there at Pole Green, um, doing a series on Jacob, and hopefully doors will open up for that so it'll make, so the church can grow and that the work can be further enhanced there, and that we can have some new ideas and new curriculum along with the old, you know, can mix up with the old and the new, and everybody can live in harmony and be able to work together, because that's why I came over there to help out, you know. That's the reason why I came there is to help yell in the church out to give back a little bit. But I, you know, I hope that they understand that you know because I do want to help out in that regard, and that's really the whole truth. Truth of the whole thing is just to to give back. I mean, I've heard people when I start first start coming over there saying I was going there to take money. And some people thought I was having a midlife crisis and I was just coming back just one last time to do something. I mean, I thought that was crazy. And, uh, you know, but, you know, people are going to say stuff, but, you know, that's just people. But, uh, you know, I forgive their, you know, forgive their, you know, deliriousness of those ideas or notions that they said. But, no, I do need money, but, no, I'm not there waving a can around. But if you want to send me a donation, people from Paul Green, you can. But, no, I'm not going to come out and ask you for it. But you all know me that, you know, I do need help from time to time. So if you have it in your heart because you are my home church hopefully you can donate something because that's what you should do when you're supporting another church you should give a little financially to a sister congregation that's satelliting off you know starting a new church from um, you know bouncing like a bouncing board from Paul Green so think about that in your tithing and try to if you could maybe put us in your budget too so you could give us a percentage you know every so often and uh, that will definitely help the ministry here at New Hunter and help us with our online ministry too as well. Uh, we have 20 subscribers. We lost one subscriber. But, you know, I don't know who it was because it doesn't tell me. Sometimes it does, but you know, most of them it doesn't. So, uh, But I'm not worried because, you know, they may not like my style, you know, but the show must go on because I know a lot of more people do like my style. And they like my humors than those who don't so I'm not going to worry about it or let it spoil my parade because I'm going to still keep doing the work uh, for the Lord Jesus Christ and be fighting for the truth and telling the truth like it really is and do it in the light of God's word and that's what we're all out here trying to do on the payment front but anyway I just wanted to send up a little message of hope and some more encouragement too and to keep us in your prayer list all churches of Christ and we still need a new computer, we still need a new service NAS, and we need a new battery for our big battery, you know. We got a big battery over here. This little, this big box down here, see the digital thing right there? Man, we need a new battery for that, and that's going to probably run me about 450, 450 bucks for a new battery for that. But I, the good thing about it is you don't have to replace it but every five years. Because that unit... Um, cost me probably over a thousand dollars when I bought it when I bought it five years ago now if we've got the same unit today it would probably be about it you know 15 16 grand so you know the unit still works fine it just needs a new battery to go in there because the old battery in there is going bad it's, you know it's beeping sometimes and the battery light comes on to warm me to let me know that hey you need a new battery it's almost time to get a new battery you know come on uh you need to get a new battery I'm like how in the world we're going to get the money to pay for this so uh Hoping that churches will help, and we do IT work too. We're a full-fledged IT business, as well as media licensed and insured, and I have certifications, and that's a license. And I have uh, plenty of years of experience. I've been working with computers since the '90s, so I know how to work with all types of different devices, whether they're computers, whether they're cell phones or tablets or any type of computing device, or even video game systems too. I know a lot about all that stuff, so. Bring it on over here, even if it's got a virus on it. Don't throw it away like Wayne did for Paul Green. He had a virus on his computer and he threw it away. And I could have fixed it for him for a couple, about two or three hundred dollars, but he threw it away. And when he got a new one, then he had to buy all new software. So 
I told him, well, if you would have kept your computer like I suggested to do and let me look at it, it would only cost you about two and a half, three, three hundred, maybe three fifty at the most to fix your virus situation and you would have your computer back. But he didn't want to do it, so I guess he didn't think I knew what I was doing. Or, But that's what he said he did. He threw it away because he thought the virus was on there. There was no way he could get it off, and that wasn't true. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe there, maybe there was something on there he didn't want me to see, but I don't think so because I know Wayne, seriously, I was joking there, because I know Wayne, you know, the elder at, church, at Paul Green. I know him. We go way back. I know him since I was a little kid. He's a good guy. He said there's probably nothing on his computer, but somehow a bad virus got on there. But, um, you know, but just kidding around, you know. I know you, you don't have nothing bad on your computer. But, you know, just, you know, but, you know, sometimes people do that because they don't want you to see it. But you, know, you probably just did because you didn't know what to do with it. So I understand. But, you know, I could have fixed it for you. And that's what I told you back then. I was a little upset because you had to waste all that extra money to buy a new system when you could have used that system for probably another three or four more years. So, you know. Either way, you still got to spend money, but you wouldn't have to spend as much. But, you know, next time when you have a problem like that, Wayne, trust me, don't throw your computer away. Let me look at it first, okay? I'd probably save you a whole but bunch of, a whole buttload of cash. And, you know, a couple hundred, two or three hundred dollars is a whole lot cheaper than a new computer. Uh, you can buy a new one for that price, but, yeah, that's what you're paying for. You get a, you can get one of those Google, Google Book computers. They're about that price, two or three or four hundred dollars, but that... They're really cheap, you know, it's everything's up in the cloud. You don't have a hard drive or what hard drive you have on there's not much of one. But you know, you want a real computer. I know Wayne, you want a real one with a monitor and with a tower and with the drives that you have there. And of course, you know, you probably use stuff that's in the cloud too. A lot of people do. But I'd rather have it on board. You know, I use the cloud as a backup but have stuff backed up here as well as in the cloud in case something happens to this fire or something. But you know, it's very rare that that would happen, but, you know, it can happen. It does happen, but it's very rare. But the thing is, yeah, if you had your stuff here, you know, and you have it in you, because that's the way I am, I like to have it on site. So if the Internet goes down, I can still do my work. I'm not stopped by anything because I can still do it. So, But anyway, people like Wayne, don't throw your computers away. You know, don't waste a lot of money. He made a mistake when he did that, and he probably kicked himself in the rear end for doing that. Yeah, he got a new computer, but then he had to buy all new software on top of that because a lot of software, because he was telling me that a lot of stuff didn't work, and it, he, it was really stressful for him. He said he wished he would have listened to me later on because he didn't let me, do, let me take a track at it, you know, and save, it probably would have saved him a lot of money because, yeah, he got a new computer out of it, had Windows 7 on it, but... It ended up costing him a lot more money because a lot of stuff that he had on the older computer didn't work. It wasn't compatible. So, Well, that's usually what happens. So, you know, what can I say? Um, but, you know, you learn as you grow. That's what I've always told. So, anyway, don't be like Wayne. You know, listen to someone who knows a lot more about it and who does this every day. Um, and uh, believe me, it'll save you a lot more money in the long run if you do that. It's words of wisdom to live by, folks. Um, and, of course, uh, hopefully tonight I'll hear from Christine here in a few minutes. But anyway, I love you all. Shalom. We'll have a message tomorrow night dealing with talking to your kids. Chapter 11. Yeah, lesson 12. Because it was lesson 11. I'm looking right at it from last week. So we'll do lesson 12, chapter 11 from the book and uh you know i'm looking forward to it so please be attentive if you can come here and you can sit here and on the couch or you, we got a couple folding chairs if you want to donate some chairs uh we have two folding chairs and then we have the couch so we have four people we could sit near and if you, there's more people that come than that then please bring a folding chair and maybe you can donate it i mean you can leave it here or you can take it with you you can bring it and uh, somebody wants to bring some refreshments and all because I'm providing the message and I'm providing the place. So someone could bring the refreshments. Oh, and I can provide the soda too because I got a lot of soda. So I'll give you all some soda if you come. Some soda pop or some tea because I got tea or soda. And I'll get, pour you a nice cold glass of either or. So if that's what you want. And I also have filtered water too. So, uh, you know, come on by and uh, love to have you. Come on by for computer work and come on by for fellowship. Come on by and check us out. We're New Hunter Church of Christ. On Sunday and every day of the week after hours, and then we're uh, do, we're to sell us media too. We're a little business inside of over here in Section Eight subsidized housing. Of course, I don't have Section Eight, but you know I live over here and I pay subsidized you know, rent. So uh, anyway, 
you know, this is how it all starts, and then we move and get a better place. So with you all helping out, that's how it's able to happen. So keep all that stuff in prayer that I mentioned about the new computer and things. And give me a call at 804-789-9373. And please, let's all work together and bury the hatchet. Let's all, you know, be real Christians and be on fire for the Lord. You know, and stop the foolishness. Um, you know, and let's just do it together and work together as a team like a fine oil tuned machine all right i love you all and take care and god bless please subscribe down below right down the video right around here just subscribe little subscribe button to hit it and you'll be ready to go and use your feet use your hands use your tongue however you do it but you know if that's how you're able to do it because if you're paralyzed you might be the way you do it with your teeth or your tongue or your gums so however you do it please do that and uh Please donate to us, and uh, thanks a lot. Our number is 804-789-9373, and the cell number, the way you can reach me, is 804-399-8244. Thanks a lot, everybody. I love you. Take care. Serious. I'm going. Bye.